Hey awesome people, welcome to another episode of So Addicts. Today's episode, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to successfully install an invisible zipper. Now this is a very highly requested video and as you guys already know, invisible zippers are always the zippers of choice when it comes to dresses or skirts or anything that you just want your zipper to look pretty simple and of course invisible. So I'm gonna be showing you guys step by step how to successfully install this zipper. And if you guys are new to my channel, thank you so so much for stopping by and if you haven't subscribed already make sure to hit down that subscribe button and let's just get started so starting off I have my fabric in place which is supposed to represent your dress your skirt or whatever you're putting your invisible zipper into so I also have my invisible zipper and of course you need some pins so I have a black invisible zipper right here just so I'm able to really show you guys how to put in the zipper but ordinarily you want your zipper to actually match your fabric so now I'm measuring how long my zipper is compared to my fabric and of course I'm just measuring placing it right there and measuring all the way to the bottom now you just want to sew from that point all the way to the bottom now this is where we're gonna insert our zipper into ordinarily you would already sew this on your dress or skirt or whatever it is so I'm just measuring how long my zipper is compared to my actual fabric opening and I'm just gonna sew that on the sewing machine from that pin all the way to the bottom leaving that opening at the top for my zipper so I sew this down to the sewing machine. As you guys can see, I also press this down. So I sew this at a half inch. Now I also press all that allowance at the top as well. You also wanna make sure to reinforce all your stitches so they don't come apart. So I have this all pressed down. The half inch allowance is all pressed down. Now it's time to kind of put our zipper into the seams. So the trick I usually do is to actually press my zipper teeth out. So your zipper teeth is always rolled over. So now I'm just gonna lay this flat on the iron and actually press it out. So as you guys can see, my teeth is actually pressed out. So this allows you to successfully just go right in as close as you can to the teeth so your zipper is laying nice and flat when it's in the seam. So now we have our zipper right side facing up and now we're just gonna tuck that into the seam. So as you guys can see, I'm tucking it right there and I'm just gonna go right ahead and actually place this at the edge of my fold, as you guys can see, and I'm just gonna go right ahead and actually pin this down. So you wanna place your zipper right at the top of the edge of your fabric, and you're just gonna go right ahead and pin this down. Now you also wanna make sure to not stretch your zipper. Make sure to just walk your zipper into that seam nice and neat. Don't stretch it or don't pull it too hard, or you're just uh, gonna have a lot of bumps when you sew down your zipper. So now I'm just walking this nice and flat and pins are gonna be your lifesaver. You wanna make sure to use as many pins as you want, but you just wanna make sure to walk this down nice and neat. And when you do, make sure to do the same thing for the other side as well. So I'm just laying this nice and flat, making sure that the zipper are of course the same length up to down because uh, if you have any patterns or prints on your fabric, you wanna make sure that they do match up. So this also helps um, your prints or strips or whatever on your fabric match up really nice and neat. So when you've done this, now we're just gonna go right ahead and actually sew this on the sewing machine. So now that we're on the sewing machine, we're gonna go right into our foot. Now the foot is pretty much um, what you're gonna use to sew your zipper down. Now you do have a zipper foot that comes with all sewing machines, both home and industrial. They might look a little different, but they look something like this. Now this is where you're gonna slide your zipper into. Another foot I wanted to point out to you guys is this left and right foot. Now this is actually not specifically just used for the zipper, but it's actually used to get um, close to a seam or um, a fold as uh, close as you can. So I like to use this foot instead of the zipper foot just because um, this is more comfortable for me, but you could definitely use any kind of foot that you want. So this foot, as you guys can see, when I do attach it to the sewing machine, I'm gonna sew as close to that teeth on my zipper as um, close as possible. So you wanna make sure to have this laid nice and flat and sewing it as close as possible. So as you guys can see, I have that foot installed and I'm just sewing to my um, edge of the zipper as close as I can. And of course, on that fold, making sure that it's laying nice and flat. And when you get to the edge, you can just backstitch, as you guys can see, and you have one side of your zipper sewn down nice and neat. 
Now, when it comes to the other side, um, the next thing you probably would should do is to actually chain the foot to the other side. But I just really like to um, go right ahead and just sew this down. So you want to make sure that little guy at the end, which is the um, teeth head, is actually sticking right at the back. And I'm just going ahead and doing the same thing from the bottom to the top. Now, if you were actually changing the foot, you would start again from the top all the way to the bottom. But I'm just uh, using the same foot and I just flip mine to the other side and I'm sewing from the bottom all the way to the top. It's basically the same thing. So now that I have that sewn down, at this point you're pretty much just almost done with installing your zipper. As you guys can see, it is already laying nice and flat. Now the next thing we're going to do is to actually push that head all the way to the top through the fabric. Now sometimes this can be a little hard, just make sure to keep pulling and uh, your zipper should actually just come all the way to the top just like this. So at this point, you guys can already see it's looking so great, nice and flat. And all you want to do now is just go right on the iron and press this down nice and flat. Now, the only reason you guys could really see this zipper is because, of course, it is black and it's actually not matching my fabric. But if I did use a white, then you probably won't be able to see it as much. So thank you guys for actually joining me in another episode of So Addicts. I hope you guys really learned a lot from this tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure to scroll down and leave me a couple of words, comments, or suggestions. I'm definitely looking at those as well. And please do not hesitate to give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure to also hit down that subscribe button so you can see more awesome videos from me and I hope to catch you awesome so addicts next week.